Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, we'll do two sections. Uh, the first one for the immediate use, and then the second section, which will be in Vargo until 10.30 this evening. Gary, we'll start with you when you're ready. Hello, Ralph. Thank you very much for your time. Good to see you. Welcome to the Premier League. Welcome to Southampton. How do you feel? It's first hello from my side. Um, I'm, it's a pleasure for me to sit here in front of this, I think, ten cameras and uh, a lot of media. Um, it's a pleasure for me to, to sit here, and um, I'm very proud that um, the club, the club's decision, fall on me. And uh, yeah, it's a big challenge for me, but it's also for me a logical next step in my career. It. Uh, it's it's um, my goal to 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 get my name known here in in the Premier League. Uh, um, I had yeah a few successful years in Germany, and it's um, when I when I leave the Leipzig in summer, I I was thinking about my next step, and uh, it challenged me that uh, I want to to stand in front of a of a, of a new team uh, with a new language and. Um, to to get uh, developed uh, personally and also in my in my view of of, of uh, football and yeah so that's the reason I think uh, I made this decision to come here to come to Southampton I had really very good uh, meetings with Ralph Kruger and he, he it was not not a disadvantage disadvantage that he can speak German also yeah. <laughs> So for me, it was relatively clear that I can help him in the situation, in the situation the club is in the moment, and uh, we find a good solution, I think. And um, the history and the philosophy of this team, I think it it fits nearly perfect to my philosophy of playing football, of how to work in in football, and. Uh, so it was a, a quick decision for me, and uh, I hope, or well, I'm sure, that it's a good one. What is the task that you've been set, that the owners told you, at the very least, you need to achieve here? The first target is, is uh, to to get out of this relegation zone. It's 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 the the near future has to be. Uh, move as quickly as you can out of this relegation zone. It is tough enough. Uh, you know our schedule over Christmas. Uh, I'm not a fr a frightened about it, but um, the problem in the moment is that we have a lot of games uh, the next days. And uh, if you know my kind of football, you know that there's all about training sessions and working on automatism and on, on habits. And if you have the chance to do so and to train, it's it's okay. But when you don't, then it, uh, it's not so easy to, to change something in the team. So we have only one session until Saturday. It's tomorrow in the evening. Today is recovering and, and uh, tomorrow we have one session and uh, we, will, will, we will pay attention not to overload them with impacts. And it's, uh, um, my, my, my goal is to, to develop them as quick as possible, but uh, we have to pay attention. and. Um, so we have one one session tomorrow. It's it's about getting stabilized very quick, yeah. Or mainly in the defense, uh, as you saw yesterday in this match, it was um, too easy to score against us. Although it is one of the top five teams uh, was yesterday with Totten Tottenham, but I felt it was too easy. And um, you, you really need to, to have a, a good match plan. Um, the guy from the radio before I told him that. Um, because he asked me about uh, the confidence from every player I think about and I said okay maybe they are not in the best self-confidence position in the moment but then we have to look then when the own tree is not beautiful enough that the wood is looks beautiful as together working and in, in, in the net uh, acting against the ball in the in the main part and when we can stabilize this part of our game it's only one part from four then we are able to yeah, to force them a little more like we did uh, yesterday. There have been uh, three managers here in 18 months. Did you have any doubts at all about taking the job? 
Not really, because when you see the history of my class clubs, I, I've been there. I know about uh, VfR Aalen, where there were, I think, eight managers in five years before me. And that doesn't frighten me any time. Uh, I want to put my footsteps in the snow here. And, uh, and um, I think I did it in all the clubs before. I had often a similar situation like we are now in the moment. It's a little bit back to the roots for me. Yeah? Last year it was uh, maybe easier because I, I had a fantastic Champions League team and, and we were on a very high level what our tactical uh, things uh, belong or, or our yeah, also physical things. And um, now this step is maybe not the easiest one. But I never wanted easy in my life. I, I always was challenging me myself, and uh, I'm looking forward. I'm not afraid of, of anything. May I ask when you first knew there was a, a potential opportunity for you here, at Southampton? Because obviously we, we need to know how long you've had to look at the team and know <coughs> the players and know about the way Southampton have been played. Have you noticed some time the jobs? Might be available. Um, no, it, 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 it went. Uh, it, it was very a quick decision then. Eh? So you never know what will happen when you, when you, when you, as a manager, are in, on holiday and 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 try to to charge your batteries up again. Um, what I knew was that um, a Premier League uh, club will will yeah. Force me more than than any than any German uh, Bundesliga club in the moment. I know this league by heart. I it's everything uh, known from me, and here everything is new. The clubs are new. The, the managers I play against are new. Maybe also the tactic is a f little bit different. I feel it is a very physical uh, division where it's it's very important to have a very good physic. Uh, um, the the speed is high. Yeah and. Um, I don't want to compare it to German. It's a completely different way, maybe to 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 play here sometimes. But uh, I think it's a, a way I, I like I, I like very much, and I think my kind of football uh, fits very good to this league, and that's what I want to show with my team. Yeah, it's it's a very long way and a intensive way and a tough way, but uh, let's us start from today. Jurgen yeah, Klopp has spoken to the uh, English media very highly. About you and the job. That Did you, he? That you can do. You're, known, you're known, I think, as the, the Klopp of the Elks. Do you mind that title? I've heard about that. Yes, uh, I don't like it so much. Uh, I want to be my own uh, character, and and uh, I know him very good. Although he's German, I think he's not so good anymore because uh, he doesn't know what this means. Hüttel, eh? he said he means nothing, but. Uh, that's not right. Eh? I think he's now three years in, in England and his English maybe is better than his German anymore. But um, I was laughing about uh, his, his explaining of my name. Uh, it's hard to, hard to pronounce, I think, eh, for you. Um, How do you pronounce it? Hasenhüttl. Yeah? Uh, are there any similarities at all between you and Klopp? Yeah, we, are, we know each other, I think, not uh, yeah, we we made uh, uh, we we had, we were sitting in the in the in the in the school together in the uh, football school together and um, made our pro license license together and uh, yeah I I was always uh, a fan from his football it was uh, a very proactive uh, way to play um, I think he he said marks in 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 German with his kind of football and. Uh, uh, that really um, influenced my style, absolutely. But uh, yeah, he made a fantastic way as a manager. He was very successful in Dortmund, and then he he went to a, a famous club in, in in the Premier League. And and uh, until he's there, they were developing in a in a, in a fantastic uh, way. Um, yeah, it's 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 uh, when I when I can do it similar or nearly the same, it it would be fantastic for me. Uh, but uh, that's too far away now. Is is we have in the moment we have other targets and other goals, other problems. But uh, let us start and 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 then we will see how our or how far away our limits are in the moment. Um, from me, uh, obviously you've got Cardiff, a bit of a 
relegation battle to start with, and then your first home game, I think, is against Arsenal. Yeah. You were linked with Arsenal in the summer. Was there ever any chance of you going to Arsenal? I heard from that. Uh, I, there was no contact. I, I was always in, in my mind that for, for this uh, top six clubs in England, my name is not big enough. I didn't want enough. Okay, I, in every club I worked until now, I was successful, but not in that kind that I can say I won the Champions League or the Euro League or I don't know what, what trophy uh, so far. So um, one time uh, become champion in the second division in Germany is not really a, a good uh, a good quality sign for for one of the top six f uh, clubs here, but what my goal is was uh, to to perform here with my team now in that kind of of, of, of way. I I always want to go uh, take every everyone with us, surround the club and also the medias and and everyone to to help us to to become this club or one, everyone wants to to see here uh, with uh, passion with. Uh, with a good plan, with the kind of football they like, and uh, when we do so, uh, we can have a fantastic time together. And uh, that's that's my goal in the moment. And um, so therefore, I need everyone. And I, I have to say, what what I liked most yesterday was um, when I saw our crowd uh, supporting our 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 team. It is I don't know if it if this would be happen after such a match in in in, in Germany when you lose three one. Um, clear uh, without having a chance to win then uh, the support was fantastic and that showed me that the relationship between us and, and, the, and, the, and the fans is, is still a good one and uh, that the season so far was really a taste for them I think it was uh, hard uh, for them to stand and what I can uh, appreciate is that uh, they have to accept uh, a, another style of football and another uh, passion in, in, in our game that's for sure it's a result business we know that and we have to take results as soon as possible and uh, when we do so we, we, can, we can give them back what they gave us and that's my goal Paul? Ralph have you spoken to any of your former players who are in the Premier League Pascal Brooks, yes I did with Pascal I had a few telephone calls and um, He's a fantastic guy. He was uh, my player in Ingolstadt. I, I watched his career here in, in England uh, exact and, and, and tried to follow him. And I think he made a fantastic first season here. Uh, and uh, I was very proud that he, he did it so well. And um, yeah, he told me about uh, the league, about the, the clubs uh, now in the bottom of the league. And, and uh, yeah, that uh, it would be very interesting if if I come here and 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 tr try to 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 overtake a, a club here and 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 to to perform with this club. And he is very interesting to see uh, what what uh, way I take. How close did you come to being a Premier League player? Yourself? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, two chances to come here. It was one time I think I was uh, on a on a training session in 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 Chelsea for two weeks uh, with the team manager Glenn Hoddle. I think it wasn't that Chelsea that is at the moment. So uh, it was I think they were also in the relegation zone. There were it was a long time ago, and one time I I, I trained for Bolton Wanderers. But um, I was uh, a young player and has uh, two less uh, national international games. So. It was uh, too high, a, a too high uh, level for me, I think, as a player. So therefore, it's a pity, but um, I'm very proud now that to sit here as a, as a manager. You spoke about being impressed at the, the atmosphere of the, the, the crowd yesterday, the Southampton fans. What about the spirit showed by your team? Because often when a team is struggling, they, they, they can play with fear or, or certainly low confidence. but. You know, that last 20 minutes yesterday at 3-0 down, they, they seem to show the players that they're all together. And yeah, but yeah, that's uh, what I've seen also, yeah. Uh, but it not, it's easy when you don't have to lose anything anymore. It's, it's easier to, to, to be confident and, and to, to, to try something. Yeah? So when you have this character scene in the first 20 minutes, I would say, OK, they know what to do. I think... Uh, the main goal is uh, to work together as a team. I saw a few very interesting uh, mistakes we made yesterday and and um, 
I think the the character and the mentality from the team is okay. Yeah? I think what they need now is is a plan, a match plan that fits to them, yeah? and uh, to to find the perfect uh, formation and um, a tactical uh, um, summary from from a few a few formations. Then we can we can uh, be less easy played. We can we can force the opponents more than. They did this today, yeah. Okay, it was Tottenham. It was a very good team. So for me, the tex tactical flexibility is is a main part of our of our game. Yeah, the four two 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 is is my preferred system. Uh, but I also want I can play with four three three or three four three. So the main goal is to be very active and and proactive and try to to press very early. Um, it also depends on. How, how much quick players you have with how much speed they have and and therefore we we need to 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 look now and to, to watch uh, the guys uh, how they compare with the system we we want to to to, to play them. And did you say Jurgen Klopp doesn't know what Hasen means? He knows what Hasen means. Yeah, that's. What, what, what does Hüttel mean? Hüttel means it's a small hut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Tony? It's a small hut for the rabbits when you want. <laughs> yeah. Tony? Ralph, uh, have you spoken to the club much about the transfer budget for January? Do you expect to change many players? I said we, we just have a look of uh, the players we have now. Uh, I, I want to, to bring them to their limits, you know? I don't know where the limits are. And if they like to go this way with us, yeah, they are invited to. Yeah, and uh, when they follow us, uh, it would be an intensive, a hard-working way. And when everyone is pushing his limits to a level, higher level, then we can see how far it gets with this or this player. And when someone says, okay, no, it's too much running for me or to know, uh, too, too much work for me, uh, he will fall uh, very quick beside us. And, and um, that's, that's how I want to work until, until uh, January. And then we have a look. You would expect to possibly lose some along the way, then, maybe with that style. I don't know. I, I, everyone, um, and we have a very good uh, youth academy here in this club. Um, it's a goal for us to bring them forward again. Uh, I think in the past, in the history, there were a lot of players coming out from here, from there, uh, creating a good uh, capital for for this for this uh, uh, youth academy and uh, youth academy. And that's our goal also in the future, to, to look what uh, will happen there and, and to perform with these guys and to develop them. And maybe one or the other can, us, can help us uh, uh, yeah, do it better in the, in the Premier League. If you do need some funds and you do need to change some players in January, though, will there be money available? At first, I think the the squad is very big so we have a few a, a lot of uh, positions where we had too much players uh, I think um, and maybe one or the other is, is, is leaving us and then we can also bring something new here inside but we have the, the possibilities I've spoken with the, with the chairman about that and uh, he will try everything to, to, to stand my wishes and just what would you say to the fans what can they expect to see from a Ralph Hartman side they can expect a very passion kind of football with 11 characters on the on, on the field they they know exactly what to do they know what they have to show the crowd and um, after the match although when we not win i'm 100% sure they will they will help us and they will uh, appreciate what we what they have seen that's for sure i i know that there are no guarantees for winnings, uh, the only chance we have is to work on on chances to to rise. If we want to have guarantees, you have to buy a wash machine. Yeah, <laughs> not not in football. There are no guarantees anymore. So let us try to rise the chances to win. And when we do so, they will follow us and they will appreciate what we do on the pitch. And when when this relationship works, I don't know where the limits then are for us. Yes, in the back. Uh, Ralph, depending on your life here in England, what uh, will you miss most here in England, what you had in Austria before? 
Uh, yeah, and I've been in Leipzig two years now and was far away from Austria, so I missed there also a lot, um, especially the mountains, but the last six months I had enough from them. Uh, I, I was really walking around a lot uh, and uh, I I needed this time really to get my batteries charged up again and now it doesn't matter really when I don't see the mountains for two and a half years again now. It's okay. It's the first time for an Austrian coach uh, here in England. Austrian coach. That, does that mean something to you? Yeah, that means a lot of pressure on me because when I do it bad, I think the, the gap is closed for everyone else. So <laughs> um, I should do it really good, really well. I'm not afraid of it. I, I wanted uh, it so, so hard and uh, I was working for it. Um, I, I was walking through all the lower levels, uh, lower leagues and, and now I'm here and maybe in the best league in the world and um, not because they, they, they invited me to come but I was working for it and, and uh, sure I'm proud of that uh, but uh, it's only the beginning. Yeah? It's nice to, to come here and everyone is talking good about you, but it's better when you leave here and everyone is good about uh, talking about you. That's my goal. What was your first reaction? <coughs> what were your first thoughts when you got your first call regarding a possible choice? I was thinking about the Titanic was leaving here. <laughs> and I said, I hope I don't uh, hit the first iceberg. It's, it's waiting on me. <laughs> so... No, I was looking forward and uh, it was a very, very uh, good atmosphere uh, talking with, with, with Ralph and Ross and uh, no, it's, the decision was uh, not really difficult to, to, for me. Hi, well, I'm Cornelia, I'm um, also an Austrian. Oh. <laughs> Interesting having you here. Yeah. Um, so are you the silver bullet going to pull out uh, FC Southampton uh, of this uh, not quite comfortable situation? What are you going to change? And why is it you who could make everything better? Why the Austrian? And Austria is not a nation of uh, football players. I know. Um, but I, I think uh, in, the, in, the, in the past future, in the, in the, in the shorter future, uh, in the short, shorter past, it, 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 it's, it's developing also in Austria, also the trainers and, and the players. Uh, we have now Anatovic here in, in the Premier League and uh, uh, a few more. Uh, so I think the, the Austrian football is, is developing. And um, yeah, I'm, I made my, my complete uh, experience as a, as a, as a manager in, in Germany and I think uh, the German football is um, one of the best in, in the world and I learned a lot there, especially the last two years in Leipzig. Uh, I had with Ralf Rangnick a, a, a fantastic manager. He, he pushes us, us to, to, to uh, higher levels and, and m myself also. It's, it's, it was a pleasure for me to work there. It was a fantastic time. I uh, has uh, a fantastic first year where we were second in, 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 the, in the Bundesliga. And uh, in the next year with the Champions League and the Euroleague quarterfinal, it was, it was an, a very important experience for me. And um, this was a, a very important step in my career. But uh, yeah, now to come here, it, it's, it's, it's uh, brand new. It's, um, I'm very... I'm looking forward how how much I can change here in in this team with my kind of of, of working with my kind of of uh, um, playing as a as a, a group uh, and I think uh, yeah we have a good team here and also the staff is very open minded that's very important for me because I for me isn't, no way is too far to go uh, I want to 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 be open-minded for all the new things like we did it in, in, in Leipzig. Yeah, we, we, I think we didn't have the best players in the Bundesliga, but we, we were open-minded for all the new things and, and that helped us a lot to, 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 to be ahead of Dortmund or, or something like that. And, and um, yeah, when we do so here, that's uh, a, good, a good basic to, to develop. Just a follow-up question. I mean, you have already touched this because um, so the academy here um, brought up so many um, famous names, and they were a bit forgotten. The young talents. Can you? Are you going to promise that you're going to um, build on this 
that this talent you have got here and how are you going to, to work with the, with the young talents in work? Yeah, we should we should uh, put more focus on 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 on, on the the academy. Absolutely. I mean, uh, if they feel that we are watching them, and uh, if they feel that we have an eye on them, uh, uh, maybe it's it's just enough at the beginning uh, that they that they know. Okay, he he's he's looking on us, and and um, there is um, there are a few chances to to get them in in training sessions and and to, to see how far they are. And uh, yeah, you never know when there is a player which shows us that he's confident with the kind of play we want to show. Uh, it's not, it's not uh, yeah, the the worst thing for me uh, to to put him in. Yeah? It's it's uh, fantastic when I see there's a player who has a potential to to next to make his next step in the in the in the Premier League. Okay, well in that section there, and we'll move on to the second one for 10:30 this evening.